So today we're going to be listening to Supergrass's debut album as I take my bank cards out of my phone case. Uh, let me show you. Supergrass I Should Coco. I Should Coco is a debu de debut studio album. Debut? debut? I can't say it. Studio album by English alternative rock band Supergrass. Released on the 15th of May 1995 by Parliament. Supergrass was, were formed in 1993 by Gaz Combs, Mick Quinn and Danny Goff, Goofy, Goffy, huh. and they released their debut single from the album Caught by the Fuzz in May 1995 on the small independent, oh, oh, I'm not reading all that, but I've heard the song obviously alright, which is probably Supergrass's biggest song, but I've never listened to this album or any album by Supergrass, I only know the one song. Now, I know that uh, it might be treachery for some. It certainly is for me. Um, I, Britpop, 90s Britpop and the alternative rock scene is my favourite kind of music. Obviously with Oasis being my favourite band of all time. But bands like Pulp, I love Pulp, I love Blur, Oasis. Uh, I mean there's tons. Is, is it Swede? Swede? I can never pronounce it. And pff, there's too many to list. But Supergrass is one that has passed me by, just because I just, you know, I listen to a lot of different genres, and it's not usually one that I do pick up on. But I am, I am going to sit here, and I'm going to listen to I Should Coco by Supergrass, and I'm going to fix my hair. I was let down <laughs> before I started filming this. But, yeah, I'm going to go listen to I Should Coco Supergrass. I'll be back in a moment. I'm really washed out at the moment, and I'm not sure why. I've been pissing about the camera settings to see if I can help with that, but I haven't been able to. So we will continue anyway. Um, overall, it was a really great album. It was a lot more punk and heavier than the one single I knew led it on to be. Now, I know you, should, you shouldn't judge an album by its cover or the singles from that album, but the first song had a really strong, in my mind, punk vibe to it, and I thought it was brilliant. Uh, I got my notes down here, and it had a really lovely piano, really love, really lovely piano piece to it. And then the third song comes in with this really great drum, drum beat. Stop messaging me, go away. <laughs> really great drum beat with some great vocals on it. The vocals across the whole album from Gads are amazing. You know, he's a great vocalist. Now I will admit, well, I'm, we're not comparing them. But I think Pulp's lead singer is better, a vocalist and a songwriter. But anyway, uh, Strange Ones was a really great song. And then the song Time had a, hang on, Time had a really great riff. Let me get the album up. There we go. So overall, just a really great album. Um, honestly, All Right is one of my favourite songs from the 90s. Uh, Sitting Up Straight was a great song. She's So Loose. Uh, sofa of Le Lethargy, Lethargy, I can't pronounce that. I don't know whether it will focus. Mm, there. Lethargy. Uh, that was an alright song. It wasn't too bad. And then the closing track, Time to Go, was alright. And there was a one track, it must be We're Not Supposed To, that was really sort of distorted and wavy with these synths and then this weird voice coming in, which Blair, which I wasn't expecting, but it just overall a really great album. If you've never listened to, I got to check. <laughs> I should Coco by Supergrass. So I definitely give it a listen because I quite enjoyed that. I'm not gonna pick it up on vinyl. Um, I am cutting back on my vinyl purchases. I mean, it, my vinyl collection is near enough complete, unless say like Liam Gallagher releases a new album or something. Uh, I don't really have much else I want to get, but that's besides the point. Uh, I Should Coco by Supergrass is a really great album, and I was really impressed. And So I'll see you next time.